Bug here with week three of our springtime basket. This week I'm going to be showing you how to do color work in the round to put that nice decorative siding on our basket. Let's get started. For week three, we're going to be starting with round 10, which is the first round of the chart. So now we're going to be getting into a little bit of crochet color work. And so I, you need to make sure you have that pattern printed out so you can follow along with the video. But for the very first round, our first stitch is with color B, but we need to also look at what our second stitch is going to be. So our second stitch is with color A. So when you're working a stitch off the chart, you're gonna start the stitch with the color of the stitch, which in this case is color B. So at the beginning of our round, we chain one, but we start the stitch with color B, but because the next stitch is color A, we finish this stitch with color A. So we've got our first single crochet there that's in color B, and we're ready to start the next stitch with color A. So this stitch is color A and the stitch after it is also color A. So we can complete the entire single crochet using color A. Now we still have color B that we're gonna be using again later. Now there's two options. You can allow it to hang behind your work, which will give you kind of these strands, you can see this strand here that I colored color B up with, or to eliminate that, you can crochet around it, which is what I did, and I'll show you how to do that. So for this stitch, we go into our stitch and make sure that color B is sitting on top, and we're gonna work our stitch around it. So our second crochet stitch is in color B, it's covered around color, or it's in color A, we've covered around color B, and we're ready to work another color A stitch. Now, this stitch that we're about to work is in color A, but the one after it is in color B. So we start the stitch with color A, making sure to work around color B, but we're gonna finish the stitch with color B. So we've got a stitch of color, B, color A, color A, ready to work the next stitch with color B. So the next stitch is color B and the stitch after that is also color B. So we can go ahead and complete the entire single crochet with B. Making sure to work around color A. Now our next stitch is color B again, but the one after that's color A. So we start with B and finish with A. So this entire round, you'll be working in multiples of two. We want two color A, two color B, with the exception of the very first stitch was color B. So the next two stitches are with color A, so I can complete this one with color A, making sure to work around color B. And so you can see on the inside of my work, there's no floats across the back because I'm working over the top. So the next stitch is color A, but the color after that, the, the stitch after that is color B. So we start with color A, but finish the stitch with color B. The next two stitches are color B, so we can start and finish this stitch with color B. The next stitch is color B and the next is color A. So we start with B, but finish with A. So you're gonna complete the stitches just like that, following the chart, all the way around. And you're gonna follow the chart for the next three rounds to complete the color work portion of our basket. After you finish the color work chart, you'll continue on to complete rounds 13 through 20 for the rest of this week. And that 
all include stitches that I've already shown you how to complete as well as color changes that I've already shown you to complete. So I'm not going to continue on with the video for the rest of this week. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the Ravelry group and I will get those answered for you. Now that we've completed the body of our basket, we're going to be moving on next week to create the handles. So I will see you then.